All right, we're here on the ground with the Cessna 172 steam gauges version. And we now want to implement the 530 for the VR Insight GPS-5. Now, obviously, you are missing the left-hand side of this unit, which involves the uh, comm frequency knob and the uh, comm swap and VOR swap buttons. Let's see what we gotta do to get this thing working in SPAD.next. I've got it plugged in via USB and VGA, but nothing is visible. And of course, when we go in and we throw up device manager, FT232R USB UART. So right away, we know that this device is not working. So let's go ahead and type in GPS 5 VR Insight. Hey, look, um, and uh, let's go to VR, let's go to the website. Okay. Loffler download page. All right, let's just go here. Let's go ahead and get the latest driver from them. We'll get the 64-bit one. Let's go ahead and extract all. Documents, let's go ahead, go new folder, VRI. And let's go ahead and drop that inside of there so we don't lose it. Now let's take this guy, driver, update driver, browse my computer, browse. We went into documents. What the? GRI. Yes, serial converter, done. All right, USB to serial converter, properties, power management. Do not allow this thing to go into standby, so annoying. USB serial port devices, COM ports. Um, All right, there it is. Okay, so we ran the installer again, and uh, there we go. Now we got it. Now it's USB COM6. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and say we want to add COM, wait, cancel. Let's add a COM port, COM6. Click OK. Um, close. Launch it again. Gotta love the Lego block because it brings you to the button that you pressed. Now, obviously you can change your keycaps and it depends what you're trying to use it for, but on a 530, because the 530 has a comm module, this is actually a CVI button, not a nearest button. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna map this accordingly. Let's go ahead, let's grab a vent button pressed, add action, send simulation event, 2020, let's go to the 530, and let's look for our CDI button. The CDI button doesn't exist. Oh, of course not, because the CDI button is essentially 
known as GPS drives nav one. That is the same thing as the CDI button. So go ahead, map that there. Yes. So push it. Oh, look, toggling between VLOC and GPS. Magic. Go to our OBS button. We're going to add an event. Send. What? Button pressed. Add action. Send simulation event. Let's go ahead and grab our 530 events. And we are now looking for our OBS button. OBS push. We're good. Message. Add event. Button pressed. Add action. Send simulation event. And message. Oh, crap. Not do OBS. OBS push. Message push. Add event. Button pressed. Add action. Send simulation event. Flight plan. Flight plan push. Right. It is VNAV in uh, a 530. So go ahead, 530 VNAV. Again, these caps, you received replacements like VNAV. Saving as I go, can't help myself. Let's go to our procedures page, add event, button pressed, add action, simulation event, procedures, LMNOPQR, proc. I'm gonna go with range zoom for the plus. Hope this goes in the right direction. Range to zoom. The direct key. Button pressed, we want to send simulation event and we want the direct to. Add event, button pressed, add condition. No, sorry, add event. Look for our menu button. And we've got our clear push. And now we got our enter. Now, one of the things you would have seen is we've now mapped everything except for our encoder. Well, we sorted out that the tuner outer clockwise needs to map to the right small knob left. So that'd be like counterclockwise. And then the tuner outer clockwise needs to map to the right small right, which to me is clockwise while the tuner inner clockwise needs to go to the large knob right, which would make sense, that's clockwise, though inner to large, large would be outer. Um, and then tuner inner clockwise needs to go to the large knob left, which would be counterclockwise. So to me, it uh, looks like outers and inners are reversed, and then on top of which, on the outer side, the clockwise and counterclockwise are reversed. But anyway, digressing. Um, 
if each one was an individual button press, this might be easier to sort out. Instead, uh, the Lego block doesn't work for us here. Now that we've got everything mapped, we are good to go. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna jump in the online snippets. Sorry, we're gonna publish the complete device, all aircrafts. We are gonna call this the VR, uh, VR GPS 5. Uh, G, GNS 530 config, nice and long. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We are going to post that. And that's it, we're done. So with that, we now have ourselves a VR Insight GPS 5 fully configured and operational for our simulator. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hit me up if you'd like to see something. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.